I think it's a great opportunity first, and um, it's also um, for me a, a lifetime a project in a sense that I think I'm on the mission to put uh, my country Cameroon on the map and also inspire my uh, brother and sister um, so that they can uh, they know for a fact that they can accomplish anything. So it's not only about my journey. I think it's about uh, what I can accomplish for um, for people. Um, I think the challenges are most likely ourselves sometimes uh, because uh, we always define what we can do uh, based on our environment or based on the current challenges. So uh, what I would say is that um, I face a lot of lack of confidence uh, in my in my career and when you don't have confidence you, you can't accomplish great things. So I will motivate uh, my younger brother and sister to be confident, to know what they want to do, to work for it, and uh, to stay true to themselves. Uh, what motivates me? Uh, I'm on the mission to um, really create a space ecosystem in Africa and more importantly in Cameroon. So that's my biggest motivation. So as of right now, I'm trying to learn from the best subject matter expert uh, in the area. Moving forward, um, I think it's 80% um, of the job, knowing that at this at this level, technically, um, everyone is good. But what would make the difference is how we communicate with each other and how we um, we react to, uh, to difficult situations that go uh, First, uh, we need to tell, like, small girls in school that they can achieve anything they want. You don't have, uh, even if um, a specific area of expertise is male, still male dominated, we need to encourage them. We need to support young girls and tell them that just like myself, they can uh, become, for example, an engineer or an astronaut because uh, for the story, when I was nine years old, I told my family that I wanted to uh, live in the U.S. and work for work for NASA, and I stayed true to my to my dream, and I accomplished it. So I think a lot of girls need to hear uh, stories in, in which the dream actually comes true. Um, I think the main uh, the main achievement uh, will be um, the launching satellites uh, because uh, for a fact space is still fascinating right because we can't go there it's not tangible so I think that's what makes uh, people uh, dream a little bit and uh, and, and hope for uh, a bright and uh, a bright future. I'm extremely grateful, but I'm still not used to it because that's not how I see myself. I'm a really humble person, but um, I'm here to encourage them. And if a picture or an autograph can uh, make a difference, I'm willing to do it. I think I'm already doing it. I'm here today, right? Uh, with uh, my speech, with sharing how I was able to succeed, it's already a first step because it's the best tool you can give to people. Tell them how you did something so they can go home and do the same thing and be successful. So, yeah, that's my mission. In order to solve the current challenges, um, Cameroon and Africa in general can definitely use a space technology. First of all, we need to have our own telecommunication satellite. For example, we will be um, happy that in rural um, areas, people can get access to the internet. It means that uh, we can educate young girls and boys in small villages without having them to move to big cities. So uh, just that one example showed that the space can have a big impact on education and on the entire nation basically.